I had to stop and refill. I got my Father's Day grill. It's very awesome. You got a door right there for the charcoal. And you got the temperature. And right now it's running at about in between, uh, it's about 400 degrees. Got some steak. Got some corn on the cob. Let me just open it up by the way. Oh yeah. Hey, come book peace. Welcome to another episode of Direct Edition, the Channel's Fair Hall Direct Edition. Uh, today we're just going to be going over some movies, so it's going to be called Movie Time. And uh, yeah. So I first want to start off with saying that I had a pretty good time this Saturday um, talking to D from Simply Incredible Podcast and uh, two of his friends. We had really, really a, a good time uh, kicking back. And since we can't go to the theaters right now because of the pandemic, you know, we're going to go ahead and. Uh, Look at some movies that we have d down here in the dungeon that I just purchased. You guys ready? All right, let's do this. And this episode of Direct Edition is brought to you by everybody's favorite Dr. Marion, Cooking KD, Lips by Kimmy, and my fake Darth Maul from China. All right, see so you now we do on these videos. Let's get into some movies. Okay, so I tried and tried to watch Jeepers Creepers 3. It was nothing like the first two. Uh, it was just very weird and very, like, cheesy. Just no kind of substance to it. Uh, but I have it in the collection to finish off my Jeepers Creepers run. And, uh, yeah. Um, only glad to have it as a completionist, as a purist. But other besides that, wow, it was very whack. Alright, so let's keep going to, on to the next one. So I don't think I showed you guys this, uh, 2000 BC. I did see this movie before. I had to re-watch it again because I remember somebody was saying it was one of their favorite movies. Uh, it was good. It was good. It wasn't like super, super good, but it was good. Uh, definitely did enjoy it. And uh, yeah, so we got uh, 10,000 BC. And uh, yeah, I, I really didn't think it was a bad movie. CGI was pretty good. Storyline was pretty good. It's just that this movie uh, doesn't catch my attention a lot. Uh, but I was there. I watched it and I hanged and I banged. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, all right, let's keep going. So, I must admit, this is my first time actually sitting down watching Grumpy Old Man. And uh, Grumpy Old Man. And classic. Classics. I really, really enjoyed the first movie, and the second movie was, uh, it was good, but it wasn't as classic as the first one, uh, but I really, really did enjoy watching Grumpy Old Man. I, I can't believe I let all these years pass by, and this is my first time actually sitting down and watching it. Very, very good movie. I was in love with, just, wow. This, this is one of those movies where I put up there with, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, you know, stuff like that. Even Home Alone, it's all, it's on that level. So, uh, very cool and awesome. Oh, man, when I tell you I was entertained by Jaws 1, and it's a very slow-built movie, but, man, I mean, when he finally, when Jaws actually finally makes his appearance and just the way that things happen, I forgot how much of a classic this movie was. I, was, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Especially the first time that uh, the the main character saw the shark. I love the fact that he jumped back like that. Uh, it was like a spring back uh, uh, pop-up when he finally saw the shark. And just, just an awesome movie, man. This is a classic. Classic, classic. So I guess from now on, I'm going to just be showing you main events. Because uh, Grumpy Old Men and Jaws uh, were main event status to me. I, I really, really enjoyed those movies. It really made my uh, weekend so much more enjoyable. Let's keep going. So everything I'm going to show you right now is going to be a main event. Okay, here it is. An all-time classic. It has uh, Gina from Martin in it. also has uh, Pam from Martin. You have the main character from um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and Ghostbusters. You have uh, Steve Martin in there. Just so many, so many iconic characters in this movie. And uh, really, to tell you the truth, uh, I was surprised to find out that Seymour was a girl. I knew that when I was younger, but 
I haven't seen this movie in years. Little Shop of Horrors. Such a good, cl classic, classic movie. Actually, me and my oldest daughter were sitting there watching it. She was cracking up, but yeah, man, movie time. That's what we were saying, you know. Let's watch some movies, and Little Shop of Horrors is, wow, just such a classic. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so let's take a break from uh, movies for a while. Let's get into sports or sports entertainment. Uh, this is uh, 20 Years Too Soon, Superstar Billy Graham. Superstar Billy Graham in his heyday was the forerunner to Hulk Hogan and also Jesse the Body Ventura. He was the first athlete that came onto the wrestling scene with with uh, the muscle build. So at that point, after Billy Graham, everybody thought that wrestlers were supposed to have a six-pack and be cut up and be big men. Uh, this man actually trained with Muhammad Ali and he trained with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So this guy was an icon back in the 70s and the 80s. So uh, very cool. And like I said, this is the one that Hulk Hogan um, fashioned everything off of. So very cool. That's just that's your one uh, sports DVD. Let's do one more and then we're going to get right back into the movies. So because I don't watch wrestling without crowds, I'm like fiending for the crowds, um, you know, interaction with the wrestlers, so I actually bought DVDs I usually wouldn't buy, and that is uh, TLC, uh, Tables, Ladders, and Chairs, very good, you have The Fiend, you have Miz, The, the Fiend versus Miz, uh, you have Asuka and uh, her little protege versus The Man, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte, and then you also have King Corbin versus uh, Roman Reigns, so... It's very good. I just need to get back into wrestling and learn some of these younger cats' names. And, uh, yeah, uh, I really enjoy watching Table Ladders and Chairs uh, 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 pay-per-view DVD. All right, let's get back into some movies. All right, so let's, get, let's go into comedies. If you haven't seen We Are the Millers, oh, my God, this is one of the funniest movies ever made like I really really oh my god this movie always has me cracking up in tears um when I seen it for like five dollars you ready big brother big rig and uh Larry 17 K Hudson I put eight nuts and giggle like a dolphin because I've always uh liked this movie I just never came around to finding it I found it in Walmart for a good amount of five dollars wow but yeah, if you haven't seen this movie, it's very good. Um, I'm not going to tell you the plot. It has a lot of adult humor in it, but still, very good. Alright, let's keep going. So, I had never heard of this movie. We're on comedies. Uh, it's called Night School. Uh, Kevin Hart, to me, is hit or miss funny. But usually his movies are pretty funny. And this is one of the classic Kevin Hart movies. It had me crying in tears laughing. It was so funny, and uh, I love, definitely love Tiffany Haddish. I think she's def, uh, she's dating Common right now. Uh, but yeah, Night School was such a good movie. If you haven't seen it, just like We Are the Millers, you definitely have to see it. It's just awesome. All right, so let's get into our last two main events. You guys ready? Because de damn near everything has been a main event except this one. That that Jeepers Creepers three was so stupid. But all right, let's get into your two main events. All right, let's do this. Who doesn't know that, that that theme song? But yeah, I finally got the first original Beverly Hills Cop. I uh, definitely enjoyed this one. There was some cameos in there that I didn't see coming. Damian Wayans was actually in there. Uh, he was playing like a, a gay waiter at the uh, hotel. And then... Um, I was talking to somebody, I was like, I, I wonder where the banana in the tailpipe, which movie is that in, is definitely in this one. Beverly Hills Cop is almost like Rush Hour without Jackie Chan, if you get what I'm saying. So, very cool movie, uh, definitely glad to have this in my collection. Such a classic, and uh, yeah, let's get to your last main event. And here's your last main event in all its glory, Justice League Dark. I've heard good things about this movie. Uh, the only thing I can say that I didn't like was that it didn't have enough of the Justice League Dark in it. It should have been called uh, just Justice League or something like that. When you put Justice League Dark, 
I'm expecting to see Dead Man. I'm expecting to see all these other kind of characters that have the supernatural uh, abilities. But it, it, it was... Now, don't get me wrong. The title didn't describe the, uh, the film, but the film itself was very good. Uh, so I don't have any complaints about it. Definitely love Justice League Dark. Don't want to tell you too much about it, but just know that it is a darker um, movie to watch. Uh, I love DC animation, and uh, yeah, very cool. All right, let's do this. And so, once again, I'd like to thank you guys and girls for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition. The channel is Fred Hall Direct Edition. Like, subscribe, share. Remember words of wisdom. Focus on the ones that show you love. And the ones that don't show you love, hey, we're just going to keep our world up without them. I pray that everything you touch be successful. And I know that you guys will go on and do bigger and better things. Remember not to hold on to bitterness. Because bitterness is a seed. That will take root and it will grow like this, guys, uh, from Little Shop of Horrors. Allow my six fingers to interrupt your video. But give no room to the enemy. Uh, give no room to bitterness. I know things might have happened to you that hurts. But hey, we're going to learn how to deal with them. And we're going to learn how to live healthy lives to where we're not bitter. We're not, uh, uh, we're not taking it out on other people uh, because of something that happened to us. And I'm not going to say get over it. What I'm going to say is adapt. We're going to learn how to adapt. You guys, guys be safe out there. And I will catch you later. Peace.